So hello again guys, we're back again to another design takeover. We're in r slash UI design right now and uh, hmm, this is a concept for an LFG app. Uh, I don't know what LFG means, let me just LFG. LFG means looking for group, looking for group app to meet up with random people who do sports. And again, he's new to UI design. I don't know where do these people come from, new to UI design, where they they know typography and the placing of elements. <laughs> and essentially, how how would the good UI? I don't know where are these people coming from. Hmm. So if you're new here to Design Takeover, uh, we're essentially gonna take your designs and gonna make it to another new design and contrast it and uh, we'll give some feedback after the design process.
So thanks for sticking around, guys. And uh, it's time for the feed. It's the feedback time. It's time for the best part on the video, giving you feedback. Let me just uh, clarify this a bit. Um, I think this uh, dollar sign means that this one is a paid event, right? And this one is a non-paying event. And then, and then this one actually, it it happens on the same screen, I think, right? So you're thinking is uh, this one goes to this screen and this happens on the same screen, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, if you tap this thing, it will expand and show the info then you can click join yeah so if i got it right i hmm i think that's your flow so the first feedback would i give is to have a contrast to your designs so in this part you can see here that uh, i can assume that this stuff is actually the events that are these these days have the events right so i contrast it with my design you, you can show it like this one and essentially guide the user that those events those dates have events you can do it like this you have here a legend that this has uh, sporting events so rather than having this little little notification thingy you have a big notification thingy that essentially would, would uh, say to the user that oh this date has sporting events available on it that that circle would signify that this is a chosen date and you can go you can go and improve this one by using this also uh you can tap here and the events will show here without necessarily clicking the done button to filter it out on the explore date explore sports right let me just explain it a bit uh later so uh, this is focus on the con contrast of your design so you want to know to let the user know that this this stuff the stuff, the circle thingy stuff, has the sporting event, if that is what you're going for, right? So in this thing, the dollar sign and the not dollar sign, you can actually make it even further that if it, it has a mouse over, you tap here, you tap here on this icon, it will say this is a paid event, so that the user would know, oh, that's, that's a paid event. Or you can just, Show it to them on the this this side. This is actually a free event, like on this one. I've shown them that the dollar signs are actually paid events. Okay, then so in this one, this you can omit this, but this looks good. But try to be consistent with the the iconography. So this one is filled, and this one is not. So this one is more on the wireframe side. So you, you better make it. You better have it uh, a field so, so that it matches this icon, okay? The field clock. But this one looks good also. I think I, you could uh, create an exception for the, this one because you can easily identify that that is a clock, even if it is a small, small icon. And this one, the join thing. So you could create it like this one. You make it uh, more, it make, make, it, um, make it pop out more. I mean, this thing, it... You can, you can like uh, you can argue that this is actually popped out because it is on the center so all the of the info here is aligned aligned uh, on the left side then this is on the center it pops it out but you can have it you can have it with more contrast by changing the colors so after the contrast we would go to accessibility so I've talked about accessibility with this button, with this uh, icon, let them know that that is that is there. And what other stuffs? Uh, okay, if you have joined or not, if you're hosting or you have been, you have joined an event, do you should uh, put to the user that oh, you have joined this event. Okay, like if they search for another category or another date, they know that oh, yeah, I have joined already on this one and this one. If they are hosting an event. So I've created two categories of two categories of hosting and joining an event. So in here, you I think the add an, an event is on this more options button, but I essentially just put it on the explore button so that the the user can add an event if they want to. So I'm just gonna put it here actually. Now I'm thinking about it. So 
there i i would say that I, if i tap this i would go to explore new stuff there i would create i will be hosting some some events so on this one i've added the get directions button so the user can know where to go so if you tap this one they would uh, the directions would go to the phone and they, they would choose to get notified or not that would be a good, good great feature to add essentially essentially if you don't know where you're going right or you're new to that area and then I, I think that's it that's it on the accessibility side take them to the full experience that's the last part of this uh, feedback so you want to take them to the full experience so what if uh, the user has already joined in what would it look like for them so on the screens you've presented i see that this is like the the booking process right the bo the booking process for the user to to search to search a date then to see what kind of uh, uh, they're inside the category of volleyball they would search a date then they would see those events so you might go and take it a step further like to see that what are the events for the user so like in this one we are just adding one screen would be enough actually so i've just added an event dashboard here so what essentially is the the event dashboard does is you, you will have all the events that you have joined or hosted displayed like in this one and then we have some recommended events that you might want to join then you have some here you know some navigation there and added also the create if you want to create a new event and there you want to take the user from the beginning from the beginning from the dashboard going to the things that they want to explore so if they tap this they want to explore something so this is a bit different than yours because the flow that i'm going for is when i click here i want them to just explore the available sport event that they could join on that on that particular period but it is not filtered by date first and all category here you would receive it all so that they can just scroll down so i would not require the user to create uh, to do an action to do an action if they're searching something so if they want to get specific then you would suggest an action like here so if i i want to go to the volleyball stuff I would suggest this action volleyball so this are the category sporting category if i if they tap this one they would pick a category from these four and i know this look big but <laughs> i apologize for that but i'm i'm experimenting on this one but it looks good on my side but i think it's this is too big okay this one they would pick volleyball here then if they pick volleyball here they would press done so I've just added all the sporting events that are valuable underneath it. You can actually remove this one and just go to done and go back here, right? But I prefer to do it like this. I prefer to do it like this, okay? But the most preferred way to do it is just remove here, click done and go back here. So I have a category filter in line with the explorer. So and then the date pill filter is in line actually with the explore also so you can explore these three categories and also with the dates so you're giving them more free uh, more choices and not necessarily more choices but choices to specify but i know what you're thinking uh you have already chosen a category here you have taken a valuable category then you put it in a date right you had you necessarily onboarded the user your flow is good okay and i'm just uh i'm just showing you another way to do it there's not there's nothing wrong with the user flow you're going here so this is just another look and then the other one is when they have chosen here the what you call this the the event they would go here which is essentially another screen i like this one because you just expand this screen and go here so it doesn't require the, a lot of action so mine is i got to load this this drill down screen so as i mentioned i just added the map and a direction there and then whatever this means okay i specify what that this is a paid event so i think 
that's all. So let me just review the feedback. The feedback is you add the contrast. Contrast there. So in here, you want your button to be colored or add contrast there, but this works well. And here you can have the pick dates also. And also the, in your dates, uh, I think you missed the search for dates, the next and uh, the previous dates like that. And then the accessibility, uh, make sure that the user knows that what is this icon means and if they have been joined or if they, if they are hosting. So not too much information, but a little information could uh, help the user to uh, what does the symbols mean and then take them to the full experience. So in here, I think you're, I'm just speculating, but you're going with the category, going with the category here, going to the category here, and then you're here your flow looks like this uh if i'm correct right so here pick here and pick date or you can choose it like this one so you, you can go here and there you go so you pick you explore then you pick a category here and pick a date and you will go here better to take the user to the whole experience rather than Create them a glimpse of uh, what is in store for them, so that uh, they can answer. Uh, they can answer what are the questions on their heads. That's it. I think that the, this is a good design and good uh, thinking of the user experience. Also, um, why? Because all of these these two are not are just on the same screen, and this one is. I th I think this is simple, but these two are. You're thinking ahead on this one. And that's very good. And when, in, in terms of the use UI of it, I think this is very understandable. Very understandable. I don't do, I I know I don't know if my speculations are right. Like uh, this dotted things are these dates with events, but it's for me it's very understandable. So you have a very great job on doing this. There's nothing really wrong with your design, and. Uh, what I presented here is just the alternatives to your design. So, so the flow of your design is good. The UI is good. So I have no bad things to say with your design. Okay. So hope you continue designing and uh, stay tuned for other UI design stuffs. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this video if it is informative. And see you again next time on the next design takeover where I take your designs and uh, make them better I think <laughs> so enjoy your day and have a good one